At the beginning of the 20th century, breweries were often massive complexes that stretched for several city blocks like the Jacob Schmidt Brewery did along West 7th Street. However, fine beers can be made in much smaller facilities. Let's take a tour of the Flat Earth Brewing Company in St. Paul, Minnesota. Flat Earth Brewing Company released its first batch of Belgian pale ale to the public in the spring of 2007. Since then, the brewery has created a number of other fine recipes under the direction of brewer Jeff Williamson. Let's begin our tour in the malt room, where Jeff selects fine malts from all over the world and even right here in Minnesota. Most beers are made up primarily of a base malt, such as this Simpsons Pale Malt from the United Kingdom. The base malt will provide most of the beer's fermentable sugars. Other malts, such as chocolate malt, are used in sparing quantities. This malt will provide darker color, as well as some roasted aroma and flavor characteristics. After selecting the recipe, all of the malts will be fed into the hopper where it will be cracked and augered up through the green pipe. In, in the mash tun, the grain is mixed with water and raised to temperatures that will encourage the formation of sugars. The grain is then washed clean and the liquid goes through the false bottom of the mash tun. At this point, the liquid is pumped from the mash and louder tun here on the right into the brew kettle on the left. In the brew kettle, the liquid is boiled and other ingredients may be added at this point. The temperature is controlled by a computerized temperature system. Ingredients added at this point may include hops or other spices. The beer is then pumped into the fermenting tanks where a yeast appropriate to the type of the beer being brewed is added. These single-celled organisms convert the sugars in the wort into what we know as beer. The beer may be filtered so that undesired particles might be removed. The clean beer is then pumped into the aging tanks where it may wait several weeks until it is ready for either kegging or bottling. In old breweries, the bottling facilities were often massive structures such as this at the Schmidt Brewing Company, but today's microbreweries can bottle with much smaller equipment in a much smaller space. This machine feeds the caps automatically down to the bottle area, and the bottles are then capped and can be labeled by hand. The beer then waits in a cooler until it is ready for shipping to a saloon or a store near you.